guys, my name's Dirt Vana, and welcome to my Dirt Paradise. Today we'll be doing a mod showcase, which I haven't done in a while, over the Assassin's Craft mod. And the reason why I'm up here is to do what you all think it is. The Leap of Faith. Here we go. One, two, uh, three. Uh, let me go in survival game mode first. So for the dramatic tense. Two hearts left. Hiya! Kagar! What? What happened? Why didn't he take any damage? Well, that's because of these hay bale blocks. Now, these hay bale blocks, they spawn in this place called the Animus, which we I will show you how to get to later. And it's 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 basically like a cobweb or spy web. It prevents fall damage. And let me turn down my render distance first. Okay. But basically, yeah. It's a act that it just protects you from fall damage, basically. And so first we're going to go over the recipes, then we'll move on to some of the mobs, and then the armors. How to craft them. And for these are some of the blocks that spawn, the blocks that spawn in the animus dimension. There's the unbreakable, the unbreakable dungeon, which spawns in like a secret spot that will not be said right now. And then there's the unbreakable, unbreakable floor block, which also spawns in the same place. Then there's the unbreakable, just the unbreakable block. And then there's finally the unbreakable block bar. And those are basically some of the new things in here. And all these spawn eggs, those are for when I show you the bombs, the spawns and stuff. So let's get on to the recipes first. Okay, these are some of the weapons. There's tons of weapons. Now all of these weapons, not not completely all of them, but the we the all these swords and short blades and stuff. All that, all these swords and short blades and stuff, you can. And the, the reason why this dagger is in here is because you can actually craft this one. But like all of these, you can't craft them. You have to like either get them from a drop or you'll have to buy them from a shop. <laughs> yeah, that rhymes. Okay, but you have to yeah, you'll have to get it from a you'll either have to get it from a drop from one of these spawns or you'll have to get it from a shop. Most of these you'll have to buy from the blacksmith, which I'll show you uh, who that is later. We're obviously not going to use all of these because that would take up too much time. So I'll just tell you the name and then I'll tell you some information about it, which you already listed. Then the, so first there's the Sultan's Knife. It's a short blade and 50% additional attack speed. 8 plus attack damage. Then there's the Dagger of Brutus. And this one you cannot get from a drop or from the blacksmith. You'll have to get it from the secret place, which I will not reveal right yet. But anyways, it's a short blade, 50% additional attack speed, 10 plus attack damage. Then there's the butcher knife, short blade, 50% additional attack speed, etc. Plus 8 attack damage. Then there's the notch cinqueta, short blade, 50% additional attack speed, 9 plus attack damage. The channel cinqueta, short blade, 50% additional attack speed, 8 plus attack damage. Most of these are 8 plus attack damage, 50% additional attack speed, like the Stiletto, which is the short blade, 50% additional attack speed, 6 plus attack damage, and then 6 plus attack damage for the same, this one, with short blade, 50% additional attack speed, it's just a regular knife. Then there's the Bone Dagger of Rumulus, short blade, 50% additional attack speed, and there's the 7 plus attack damage, basically, and those are all the short blades, well, except for the dagger, but yeah. The bearded axe, the bearded axe heavy weapon, seven plus attack damage. Then there's the Bartolo 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 Mias Bartolo Mias axe heavy weapon plus eight plus attack damage. The spear long weapon eight plus attack damage. Halberd long weapon nine plus attack damage. And then there's the swords, old Syrian sword, um, eight plus attack damage. Roman long sword sword. Wait, <laughs> Roman long swords. It's a sword. Six plus attack damage. The French cutlass 
sword, A plus attack damage, the common sword, 6 plus attack damage, captain sword, 7 plus attack damage, um, millen sword, 9 plus attack, skamider, 8 plus attack, skovana, whatever, 9 plus attack, la volpes, bite, a plus attack damage, Florin Florentine, Florentine Falcon, 9 plus attack damage, the Skillion Rapier, Rapier, <laughs> Rapier, or whatever, 6 plus attack damage, the Venetian Falcon, <laughs> it sounds like some kind of freaking soup, oh, this sounds like the freaking Star Wars ship, Millennium Falcon, <laughs> oh my, 6 plus attack damage, and then there's the Sword of Altair, which is the uh, most attack damage out of all these swords and the long weapons, but it's still it, It's pretty much tied with the sword dagger of Brutus, but the dagger of Brutus is still the best Weapon, but that sword of Altair, Altair is pretty good 10 plus attack damage now. I, I'll take that right there. Now let's move on to some of these the cool cool weapons I like there's the hidden blade damage dealt 3.0 and 6 plus attack damage, and, I'll sh and how you craft it is you just put 2 leather on the top, 2 leather on the bottom, 3 iron ingots, and you craft it, and you can craft it the other way, and it'll still do it. And then there's the hidden hook blade, 2 leather on the top, 2 leather on the bottom, and then you just put in like a kind of hook shape, all the iron ingots, and then there's the throwing knife, then there's 2 leather on the bottom, right there and there, 2 iron ingots, and a hidden gun. Which I really like. You, it requires a bullet, which I'll show you how to craft. Six plus attack damage, and you would need a hidden blade and then a gun. And the way you craft the gun is just three iron ingots right there and there on the road. And then there's a regular bomb, ten damage, weakness, ten seconds. Effect only applies on NPCs. You want to put craft. You could either put in red sand or regular sand right there, and then gunpowder in the middle, iron ingots on there. It doesn't matter what type of sand or what type of way. Put it. Okay. Then there's the crossbow. Requires bolts, but I'll show you how to craft. It's basically just two string right there, and then some sticks right there. Usually with the bow, you'll need three string and three sticks, but it's a little bit. I guess this could be a little bit more easier to craft if you want to say. Whatever. But then there's the tomahawk that you can craft the iron ingots and the two sticks right there. Phantom blade, HBM, which stands for hidden hidden blade. I, I I actually remembered how, but whatever. I just know it's it's the oh hidden blade mode, yeah. Hidden blade mode damage dealt 3.0, six plus attack damage. Where you craft that is with a hidden blade in the middle, two string right there, and sticks over it. Then there's the bullets. <laughs> oh no, I said bullets. Iron ingot right there, there and there, four of them. And then gunpowder in the middle, and it gives you eight of those. And so then there's the florin bags. The, thing you need to know the most about. You can find these in hidden chests, which the hidden chests, they spawn in the Animus, but in the Animus, they only spawn in desert biomes and plain biomes, or you can get it from, drop from only some NPCs, not all of them. And you can also get it in a secret place that I'll tell you later, which I keep saying over and over. And then there's the dagger that you craft with just an iron ingot and a stick, pretty, the, pretty much the easiest one to craft. And then there's the bolts, which you use for the crossbow. Four, it give it'll give you four bolts. You just basically craft it like an arrow, except for you don't cra you don't craft it like this way or that way. You just craft it like diagonal. Okay, but m make sure you don't craft it that way because that's like the regular arrow. And then this way it's like the bolt. Okay, and so then there's the cooked deer meat that you get. Well, the raw deer meat that you get off the deer from killing it, which spawns in the animus. And the effects heal for the raw deer meat is heal one heart and hunger for three seconds. Then for the cooked deer meat, heals three hearts and regeneration for two seconds. Regeneration, pretty good. And there's the PB darts, the phantom blade darts, which you use for that. Which I'll show you later how to use the phantom blade and like switch the modes and stuff. And the way you craft that is just two iron ingots, and you'll get eight. And then there's the Animus Dementia Key, which you'll need for to go to the Animus, which I'll show you how to craft the portal. That's why I have stone in my inventory. And you need a diamond in the middle and four iron ingots. And then there's the poison 
poison, poison, poison. If poison hits enemy player or NPC, they will slow die with poison, wither, hunger, slow move speed, and weakness. Sorry about, sorry about that. I was doing something. Okay, so then if poison hits the enemy player or NPC, they will slowly die with poison, wither, hunger, slow move speed, and weakness, which is pre pretty, pretty good. Then the way you craft that is with a syringe. The way you craft the syringe is two iron ingots right there, and then the glass. And then the way you craft this is the fermented spider eye and water bucket right there. And then there's the medicine with the same syringe, except for this time you put mushroom stew in the middle and with a water bucket. And the way you get the fermented spider eye is you put spider eye, which you kill, get from killing the spider, and then mushrooms that spawn like mushroom biomes and still, and not just mushroom biomes, but like all over the place, like under trees and mostly under in dark places basically. And then there's the sugar that you get from the sugar cane. And the sugar cane, you just find it like close by, like close by the water and stuff. And yeah, that's basically how you craft the, the ferment spider and stuff. Yeah, hmm. seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Okay, and I already told you how to craft the syringe. And then the codex page. There, put the paper and a feather on that. And you'll get the codex page. And then with the codex page. Six codex pages right there, and then you'll craft. Oh wait, not <laughs> not. And then you want to put, and that makes the codex chapter. And then you put all the codex chapters right there, of leather right there, and you'll make the codex, the code, to the X, codex. So we're gonna go ahead and grab. I mean, we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these weapons so I can show you what they. I can show you what they do. And let me, just, let me just clip some inventory space. Uh, don't uh, get a bolt. PPT darts. What I said, PPT darts. And fluorine bag. Okay, poison and some medicine. Okay, so let me go ahead and get a zombie egg. Oh, it's right there. Okay. After get the zombie egg, put it in. Let's put. Go ahead and put it in survival mode. And I need to heal myself, which I'll use the medicine for. So basically, with the medicine, you just right click it, and it'll heal yourself like all the way turned up. And then, oh wait, I still have some hunger bars. Well, guess what? I can eat this cooked deer meat. And look, two seconds of regeneration. Okay. Now, let's get on to these fancy weapons. Okay, when you get all you do. Okay, it's probably a bad idea <laughs> spawning that, but if you right click, then it hides the blade, which is really cool. And here's how it looks, which it looks pretty dang cool. And whenever you put it on with armor, it'll look even more cool, which I'll show you later. No, I did not realize I did that. Shpow! Ding! Ding! Okay. And then, oh, I forgot I was in survival. Okay, let's play creative. And we can use this crossbow. And instead of a zombie, I want something else. I'll just use a cow. <laughs> okay. And so then, we'll get this cow and get the poison. If you right-click it on an animal or NPC, whatever, then you'll see that it gives him hunger slowness and all the other stuff it said right there and it's slowly dying it's just i really feel sad no no cows were hurt no cows were horned in this video just kidding <laughs> okay now there's the throwing knife which all you do is just right click and you'll throw it at this cow kill it which killed it like one hit which is pretty op then there's the hidden gun which require these bullets which we'll use right now and just Hold it with right click, just like the bow, and then let go. Then, oh, there's a little bit of lag right there. Okay. So now let's get these bombs. You just right click it anywhere, and it'll throw a bomb. And there's a little bit of lag. You saw it explode. Look at those explosions. You just play around this all day. It's just it's just so fun. That's the that's like one of the best parts. Okay, then let's get this crossbow out with the bolts. Just hold it like a regular bow. 
and bam, killed the cow. The tomahawks work the same way as the throwing knives. Just throw it. Poor cow. <laughs> okay. And you can just pick up your tomahawk after you throw it. And wh why I gra grab the flooring bag? If you press I, it. If you press I. If you press I. Oh, oh crap. I need to. S hold on. I need to set my controls. But if you press I, it'll open your assassins. It'll open your assassins inventory. Yeah, right. Right now, and then you, that's where you can store your fluorine bag so you don't have to clear it in your regular inventory. Just put it all in there, and, and then when you go up to the shop, you can just take one out and then give it to the blacksmith. And you, this is where you can basically put on your armor too. Just like the, it's just like a regular inventory, except for if it has your fluorine bags pouches right there. Okay, now that we've done those weapons. Let's go ahead and put these. Uh, oh, I almost forgot the phantom blade. Sorry. Okay. So with the phantom blade, right? Okay. It's in. This is hidden blade. This is hidden blade mode. And then there's the phantom blade mode. So with the phantom blade, let's go ahead and take out this cow with it. I forgot to use the hook because only because it's basically the same concept. It's just. It's basically the same concept. I mean, look at it. Look at look at this. The cow's going crazy, and and well, except for you can't just like left right click it and it'll go out of him blade mode. You have to shift and then right click it and it'll go out of that bone, and then you can just come back. I don't know why they just don't make it like the regular hidden blade. But yeah, let's go ahead and kill this cow trying to escape. Look what you done did, cow. Thank you, thank you, cow. Gosh, cow, so disrespectful. No wonder I killed him. Wasn't even supposed to be using that hook, whatever. Uh, die. Hee hee hee. I'm so cool. Okay, let's put that right there. And now for the activate the crossbow, crossbow silent hidden blade mode, or whatever you want to call it. You just shift right click just like the hook. Just like the hook. Thank you. Thank you. And then activate this cool looking freaking crossbow blade thing it just looks pretty awesome yeah it looks pretty awesome then let's just charge it up like a regular crossbow and bam it requires these pb darts try to show you how to craft try and get right there and that's basically it so now we need to get rid of this stuff i'll be back when i get rid of it and i'm back okay and i want to keep the hidden blade because it's pretty oh, dang awesome and I want to show you with the armor what it looked like with the armor on so there's nothing in here because I already took all the eggs out now we're gonna show you some of these freaking mobs and then we can move on the armor and finally finish it up so first up we have the deer so let me just set up a little station I don't know why I didn't do this before I don't want them moving around everywhere Okay, my mouse just really just freaked out right there. Okay, so then we have the. Okay, yeah, that exactly the deer. The, it's pretty. It's pretty darn fast. The deer, if it, you know, forget you. Why forget you, deer? Why I don't know why you gotta do this. You always gotta mess up my my chase freaking deers. Mm, just like cows, mm, but faster. And it made a freaking cat noise when I killed it, which is pretty random. But yeah, basically the deer, it drops raw deer meat like it just did, and it has 10 health, and it can go pretty darn fast, which has .30 speed. It's like fast as a cat, a regular cat in Minecraft. That's why it made a cat's noise when it died. Which is pretty, pretty disappointing. Yeah. And then there's the Follama, Follama, Follamama, Follamama of Rumulus. <laughs> he also spawns in, all of these spawns in animus, like I've said before. Okay. And the Fall of Animus, if I could look at him, Fall of Animus, I mean, Rumulus, let's just freaking get, has 20 health, does 5.5 damage, drops throwing knives and flooring bags, and the rear drops is the bearded axe. If I could kill him, I don't know why my mouse is acting freaky, it's acting really, really freaky. Okay, I just whatever. Let me just kill him. 
then blood comes out, and I got a rare drop on the first try. Pretty cool. And the bearded axe, there it is. It's, it's really heavy. Yeah. I can barely hold it up, even though I'm still holding it up. Now let's get the general and the archer out. Let me go ahead and get these these guys out, too. There we go. Okay, so then we have the general and the archer. Spawn the general down. Then the archer. And that's not really what his bow looks like. It's just the texture pack I have on, have on right now. And then there's the general. That has 32 health. Does 5 damage. Drops throwing knives, bullets, and bolts. Rare drops iron sword. I don't know why I keep putting my sword in there. But yeah, die general. And he dropped a throwing knife and a bullet. Pretty cool. Then there's the archer over here that is 18 health. One does one damage. Drops bolts, bullets, arrows, and rare drops a bow. He dropped some he dropped some arrows and bullets right there. And then there's the now we have the heavy guard and the light guard. There's the heavy guard and then the light guard. It sounds like lifeguard, whatever. The heavy guard, however, has 24 health, th does 3.5 damage, and drops throw knives, bullets, and rare drops golden sword. The textures look pretty nice in this. And some, and he drops flooring bags. Well, basically, and you know, how, how I told you, all of them, how I told you, not all of them drop flooring bags, but all of them d have a chance of dropping flooring bags. Just that, but and there, I don't know why I told you that. Well, some don't drop. Whatever. I mean, okay. Well, now you know. Okay. Then there's the light guard that has 18 health, does three damage, drops throwing knife, bullet, and red drops dagger, which really isn't a red drop. You can just like easily get that. He dropped the bullet. Thank you, sir. You, Cause I got the best item off of you. One bullet. Okay, then there's the Borgia Seeker and the Venetian Seeker. Chapau and Chapau. And the Borgian Seeker. Yeah, look at me. God, yeah, gosh, leave. Freaking Borgian Seeker. 14 health. Does 3 damage. Drops throwing knife, bullets, and flooring bags. And rare drops is the Halberd. And he died. He dropped nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> but he does drop it. It's just sometimes doesn't drop it. It doesn't drop it all the time, which you can see. Then there's the Venetian Seeker that has 13 health, 3 damage, and then throwing, he drops throwing knife, bullet, and flooring bags. Red drops a spear. And I got a throwing knife. Great. <laughs> and then there's, th then we have the Papal Guard, and the Brute Guard, then we have the blacksmith and the British guard. British guard. Let's get these guys out. Thank you. The papal guard, which sounds pretty weird. And then the brute guard. The papal guard has 28 health, 5.5 damage, throwing knife, and flooring bags. There's drops. And then the rare drop is the Skavana sword. Oh my god, I got, oh, I got, cool, I got the Scorvana sword. My first try, just like that other one. Then some flooring bags and a throw knife. Some throw knives. So we'll go ahead and put these flooring bags in my flooring pouches. Then there's the Brute Guard with that awesome axe. It, it has 40 health, does 5.5 damage, drops throw knives, flooring bags, and the Bartolomid's axe. Bartolomid's axe, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Let's see if we can get the Brahmin Axe on our first try. As you see, look at that. And we got Throw Knife, still cool. And that blood animation, I really love it. It looks pretty cool. And so then, the last two, we have the British Guard and the Blacksmith. Here's the British Guard, with his thinks he's fancy with that enchanted iron sword. The British Guard, he drops bullets, and he drops an iron, and his rare drop is an iron sword, and drops some fluorine bags. And yeah. Let's see what we get. And we got bullet. Cool. Usually I get iron swords like every single time. And then there's the blacksmith. Now the blacksmith guy. He sells swords and short blades. Basically like a villager. He's like the villager of the Assassin's Craft mod. 
and it spawns in the animus dimen dimension in the blacksmith house which I'll show you later if you right click on them there's a floor one flooring back for a Roman longsword here's basically where you get all your swords and stuff yeah just look at that look at all the freaking swords and short blades and he doesn't drop anything it, it's you wouldn't you really shouldn't kill him moving on now that we're done with that we get I can show you some of the armor and how to craft it which would be pretty cool let me get my hidden blade out, put the dimension key right there. Now, first up, we have Altair's hood. I mean, uh, the Altair gear. <laughs> and the Altair hood, basically getting crafted with any type of wool in any type of way you want to. Just like, uh, it's, just put the wool, like, in that formation. Then with the Altair body, you want to put three leather across and then any type of wool again right there, there, and there, and there. Then there's the Altair legs, any type of wool, Altair boots, you can have the two leather on the bottom and then any type of wool. We'll go ahead and take this and I'll show a picture of what Altair looks like in the game. There, you can pause if you want to, but I'm moving on. Okay, and then there's Ezio, when he first appeared, his hood. We have an iron ingot in the middle right there and then any type of wool, then we have Three, but it's basically like the same concept. It's a concept. But then there's the three iron ingots in the middle, and with any type of wool. Then there's the one iron ingot with any type of wool. And guess what? Two iron ingots with any type of wool. Go ahead and grab that. Then we have Ezio Revelations. Oh yeah, and there's and there's the picture. Pause it if you want. Okay, Ezio Revelations. We have the Ink sack, which is random with any type of wool. Ink sacks again, three ink sacks with any type of wool. You you get the concept, don't you? Ink sack and then any type of wool. Then ink sacks, any type of wool. Grab that. And I like once again the texture is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. I'll put the information to the mod and the creator and stuff. You can check out his YouTube channel. It's pretty he's pretty awesome. Cool. Yeah. And then there's the Brutus armor, which doesn't have a crafting recipe because it spawns in a location which I will not reveal which is the same location I've been selling over and over but we'll still grab it we'll still grab it so you can see and let's put that in our inventory and now we have Desmond's jacket which is the main guy that goes into the animus as like all those different characters in the game and stuff and the way you craft his armor is the well, not armor, but jacket. The three rose red dyes, which you can obtain from a rose or a red tulip. And you can also obtain from a red bush. Then use any type of wool. And now we're moving on to some of the all stars. We have Edward Kenway. Oh, yeah. Um, here's a picture of him, of Brutus. And here's a picture of his jacket or with him his jacket on okay now Edward Kenway his hood which you craft his hood which you craft uh, crap craft 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 oh, sorry that was iron anger right there and then some lever finally the any type of wool thing is gone and then there's the iron ingots right there and then the lever right there and you have the three iron ingots right there and the leather right there. And the two iron ingots, which is pretty weird because it doesn't have a leather right there. And it's just pretty weird. Just one leather, okay. Then we have Arno, I believe. Yep, Arno Dorian from Assassin's Creed Unity, which I currently play. And there's Edward Kenway's picture. I don't know why I keep forgetting to show the pictures. But there's Arno armor and fine we're going back to the stupid any type of wool right there then there's the lapis lazuli which you can get from you can get from lapis lazuli block whatever uh, or so that spawn deep down below mines and stuff then there's the two leather and you get just get that there's lapis lazuli leather you get the concept any type of wool uh lapis lazuli leather any type of wool and then lapis lazuli, 
leather and then any type of wool. What is up with the weird freaking recipes? Why don't they just do the freaking leather? Like, seriously, dang. And I have to put, I'll put this one in. And then there's... Sh okay, I'm about to stop showing the pictures. Here's the picture. Freaking Arnold, which I keep forgetting. And then there's the Shea Carmack. And an ink sack. And two leather and any type of wool. Three ink sack across. Any type of wool. And then leather. Then there's the two leather. Ink sack. Any type of wool. Then there's ink sack. Two leather. Any type of wool like that. And once again, another freaking weird recipe. Great. Two ink sack, leather, any type of wool. And once you got that, and if you're wondering which is the strongest armor, it's the Ezio Brutus armor. And then we can move on to these. These are like final recipes. So first, for, let's see, craft these. These are basically like chest plates for the different Ezio like capes and stuff. If you played the game, you, you'll you'll know what I'm you'll know. What I mean, I played, it, I beat it and stuff. Okay, it's like the second one. There's the ink set and then the wool right there. And then there's yellow dandelion yellow, which you can get from da sunflowers and dandelions. And wool right there, and then ink set. Then there's lapis lazuli, and I know I skipped one, but it doesn't matter, so deal with it. There's three wool right there, and then there's rose red, three wool right there, and we have the plain cape. We could get the plain capes, and I'm running out of inventory space. Okay, now we can put this armor on, put it to the test. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I ran. I basically ran out. Of space let's go in let's go in survival mode okay so here is what you look like with the shake come rack and it's just like all it's nine armor points I believe and it's pretty freaking bulky like all of them are pretty freaking bulky there's shake come rack from the back and the front and we'll take that off then we'll put on Arno from SSP and Unity, and looks pretty freaking bulky still. All of them are pretty bulky, but it still looks pretty awesome. And there's that. Right there. And then let's put on the Edward Kenway armor. It's just freaking my favorite freaking game, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh yeah. I look so, I look so pretty cool, even though the hands are white and I have dirt hands, whatever. And then there's the back and the front of Edward Kenway. Then there's Desmond's jacket. Desmond's jacket. Desmond's jacket. Yeah. Okay, now we have the Ezio Brutus, which is the strongest armor. Look, you don't even need all of it. You don't even need all of it to have freaking OP armor. Look at that. That's better than freaking iron armor. And it only has a chest plate and pants on. Look at this. Then it looks pretty sick. It looks pretty sick. And it's really good. That's the best combination. And let's, let's put on Ezio Revelations. And there's the front. And there's the back. Front, front, back, back, side, side, to the left, left, right, left, right. And then Ezio, the first one, whatever, and looks pretty darn good. Looks really, really darn good. And I'll keep that one so I can show you these. I'll just take off the body and so I can show you Altai ear. Then there's Altai ears. They're pretty common, simple. The first ever freaking assassin. That you play with the Altai ear. Take that off. Now let's put on this, and then we'll put on the plain body kit. Okay, <laughs> seems to be a glitch going on right there. The plain body cape. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, I just, let me turn it a different. Okay, yeah, there's a seems to be a glitch going on. 
and let's just put on the auditory and that's what the auditory looks like then there's the Medici and finally there's the Manetian boom okay now that we're off that I, I'm gonna show you one more quick thing which I don't know why I delete all my armor let's just get the um, Brutus let's get the Brutus armor uh, da, 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 da. and here's what it looks like with the hidden blade okay you won't be able to see it, it, it makes the arm up like that so then pow, just real freaking full blast ass and let's get out of cow which I deleted earlier just look at this oh I got so many cows hey cow I'm just sneaking up da, 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 da. pow dang that, that's awesome that's just awesome Okay, let's take off that armor. And now that we're done with that, I can show you how to build the Animus Portal. So you'll need some stone and the Animus Key, which I've already showed you how to craft. So take, you basically build it like a regular Never Portal. Let me go in Creative. Just four right there. And then, uh, so freaking flight controls. Then you want to put five up there, and bam. Then you just light it up like flint and steel from the Never Portal, and you have the dimension. Now let's go in there. Ready or not, here I come, Animus. Do 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 do. Downloading terrain. It's downloading the terrain. Downloading terrain. Down, 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 and we're in the enemy's dimension. Okay, it's the chunks are still loading, but as you can see, here's all of the mobs and stuff, like the guards and and other stuff. We Red Bull, Red Bull gives me wings, and then here's all the brute, the brute guard, and all these deers and stuff. Okay, and then if you look around, I can show you that place I've been talking about. If you just gotta keep searching, and if you find a hidden chest, it should be in a plains biome or in a desert biome. Here's some of the mobs. I'll be back when I find the place that I'm talking about. And uh, I am back. Okay, so I found a the place I was looking for it spawned near all of these guards and stuff but it, the, it there's lots of them away and my mouse is freaking out again but basically there's lots of them around the map and crazy stuff and I found a, also I found a hidden chest near it but the way I found the um, secret place I was talking about is it usually says in chat whenever you're in the animus it says um, Rumulus dungeon nearby like these coordinates it shows X Y and Z and I found this hidden chest. It doesn't show the requirement for me, but I found it in a grass biome. I need, to turn, I need to turn down my moving speed. There we go. And basically, I found a ton of fluorines and crap here. Look at all these fluorines. Mm. And basically, these scrolls of Rumulus that I found also. You'll need six of these to craft this key of Rumulus, which you'll need to unlock this dun the dun um door into these dungeons which has a chest in them which has the get you know what the assassins I mean Ezio's brutes are not Ezio Ezio's brutus armor there okay now let's throw these fluorine bags in here yummy yum yum and it was just right about here pretty pretty weird place for it to spawn Oh, and I found another hidden chest. I didn't even see this one over here. But yeah, that, that proves that spawns in the plain and in the desert. And we have a key of rumors. That means you, you can craft, if you get these three and the three back there, then you have enough to craft it. But basically, let's get to the dungeon. And in this dungeon, there'll be the basically those protectors of rumors. But since this one's kind of screwy and stuff, 
it spawned them like outside of the dungeon, which is pretty weird. They should be like right here. Or these Venetian Seekers will be around it, but whatever. But yeah, it, it usually didn't doesn't do this, but okay. But once you go in it, just grab your key, and the way you craft it is just put them all together like that, and just go to under the doors, and it will take away one, so you'll need to find many of these scrolls in the hidden chests if you want to keep getting the Brutus Armor. And it has the Dagger Brutus and Ezio's Brutus Armor. It, you see it doesn't have the hood because you'll have to find it on your own. Yeah, you, have to, you actually have to do work in this game, okay. And that basically sums it up. And we'll end this. We'll end this with a. Oh yeah, I also forgot. I forgot to show you the blacksmith. But yeah, it's just a little wooden hut that spawns somewhere around here. You saw it in the picture earlier, but it should be close by somewhere. I'll be back when I find it. Okay, I have found one, and there's a ton of guards right by it too. So we're gonna have to assassinate and ha ha die. This guy spawned with gold and armor and stuff. Not really, we don't need to assassinate all of them. But there's the blacksmith. It spawned in this little hut that had an anvil, a crafting bench, and a furnace in it. Let's right click on him. And we can spend some of our florins. Florines. Let's go our access our assassin's creed inventory. So yeah, this works. Hmm. Not a pretty nice sword you have there. I think I'm going to get the best one, which I already have. And that's basically how that works. Thank you. Now I can kill these guys. Die. Die. Die, die, die. And that guy dropped the nine sword. Die. And so those guys just basically died. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Look at how I'm flying. I just have my sword right there. <laughs> uh, oh, there's another dungeon nearby, too. Uh, I, I, this this is the best way to assassinate people. You just fly by the, it's, and do a flyby. You know how there's drive-bys, but now there's flybys. And, and the charts are going off with the dungeons over here. But yeah, that basically sums it up for the Assassin's Craft mod. Like I said, all the links and descriptions and other stuff will be in the description down below. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!